Hello guys, welcome back. Happy 4th of July and have a good weekend with your families on this video. And my recent video I was talking about uh, that I swapped on my Ave for Pulse Chain and I wanted to elaborate on this short video. And the reason why I did so is because, as you all know, the Securities Exchange Commission is going after these assets, these cryptocurrency assets, in which they find that they have failed the, they have failed the Howey test. They have, they have been uh, classified securities, you know. And one of the things that they look into is the initial of the, the initial coin offering of the asset if it was a pre-sale and stuff like that and I believe Ave had that pre-sale happening you know and I believe there's even a company called Ave Labs that uh, that worked to improve the Aves protocol lending borrow protocol and of course over time it has become decentralized and that's one of the fights that Coinbase is going to do with the SEC they're going to fight that this asset was launched as security and then uh, throughout time and minting new coins the asset is being decentralized so thereby uh, converting from security to a commodity now securities are being banned in the united states like as you all know you know uh, uh solana you only have until september to get it out of this uh centralized exchange i forgot the name but robin have the list cardano and and polygon is on the same list of being uh, uh halted the, the the trades and, and centralized exchanges and so i'm taking my precautions and doing my due diligence and converting and trying to look for the safest uh, commodity assets that can be traded in the United States legally without being unregistered securities. Uh, and, and of course, Ave, Cardano, Solana, Polygon, if they're, sent, if they're classified securities, you know what's next? The founders have to come in compliance with the Security Exchange Commission and register these assets and maybe even get penalized for launching for founding an asset and launching it to the public without registering it uh, through the Security Exchange Commission. Now that's scary shit, right? So what I'm doing is like, cause these people, these founders may not show up. These people may just be like, you know what? Screw it, screw up. I'm not gonna go through the Security Exchange Commission. I don't wanna go through this registration, you know? And and no, they don't probably not gonna, they're probably not gonna wanna do that. But I hope Coinbase, has enough money and enough a lot of research to back that to back the assets as all being listed as commodities and they can, so they can all be free to tr be traded here in the United States for Americans. So, but a pool chain, Richard Hart did a good job. He in he launched the 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 launch of pool chain was through a was a called sacrifice. You know, you had to sacrifice in the freedom of speech, in the freedom of movement and assembly. And when you sacrifice, you're not expecting work from nobody. You're not expecting not even to get pool chain coins. We got the pool chain coin because they were just given to us. Just not because of the sacrifice. It may you can say it was because of the sacrifice. But it was not a it, no one's working for us. No one's working for you or me or any person that holds pool chain. If we got pool chains because it was given to us. You know what I mean? We did the sacrifice in the in, in in order to stand up for our free freedom of speech, freedom of assembly as human beings. You know, I wasn't expecting pool chain. Pool chain was given to me. That's a, that's a commodity right there. It doesn't have a roadmap. It doesn't even have a white paper. It does have a disclaimer. You know that no one is expected uh, any profits from the work of others. Richard Hart wrote it down on the disclaimer on poolchain.com at the bottom on terms of use and stuff. But guys, make sure to subscribe and like, do your homework, and stay frosty out there, stay, do your due diligence. If you have to consolidate your assets because you may think they'd be classified security, it's not a bad time to do that. But everybody takes their move as his own risk. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Do your research. Thanks for watching, guys. It was gonna be a little video, but I think I elaborated a little bit further than the, re than the recent video before this one. So I hope you guys like both of them. Take care, guys. Peace out.